Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Should today, this Wednesday, the 8th of March, short TA update, uh, two amazing charts that I haven't shared before, so you is a must must see. Um, yesterday evening, I went for dinner and some drinks with Coach Crypto and Sean from Hard Forking. It was an amazing full moon evening. We had a lot of fun, a lot of Bitcoin, blockchain, and live talk. Um, so let me update you now about the price, and I will update you tomorrow on some other cool news that I read that I don't agree with but I will do that tomorrow now let's first jump into those charts and um, this is the BAM first chart and BAM there is mini mini me mini Diddy I will make myself smaller now ah okay because I'm sitting outside again yes finally no noise in the garden now um, the first chart of course like you used it's a four hour chart on the four hour chart we can see that green box that's the box of support. The red box, it's the red box of so resistance. As you see at the side, the most prof, uh, the volume profile is showing a lot of volume at that resistance and at that support. So we are moving in between those parts. Now, if we keep support at this level that we are now, that would mean that we are higher than the previous low over here around 21,300. Um, that would be beautiful. And that would maybe allow Bitcoin again to do a new run. Just like we saw over here, we came down and we did a run. We came down and we did a run. Let's see if we can again come down and do another run to try and break first at the 23k, then the 24k, and then even take it up all the way to 25k again. Let's see how Bitcoin moves. Um, I'm depending on the Bam Bam to call my uh, trades. Here it gave a short. It was a beautiful short. Uh, there was a blue line down low the uh, white line. Uh, it was a lot of bluish on the bottom. Uh, and yes, that was a valid uh, short. Um, there was not like a huge, a huge opportunity over there because we saw that the Bollinger Band was really small, which means mostly the moves are not that big directly. Now, let's zoom out because I have some amazing charts. Keep on hanging in here. Uh, by the way, if you do want to trade all of this, then uh, use the Bam Bam indicator. You go to the BitcoinFamily.com. First, test the free indicator GT Guard. If you like that, then go into the paid version of the Bam Bam indicator. Also, if you want to trade, then do trade on Bybit at the moment. They give a shitload of bonuses. I think it's $30 just for signing up and up to 30k depending on how much you deposit and there are some uh, games going on over there that you can win a shitload of usdc as well on the day chart yes you see we broke that green line and uh, we had a golden cross we broke the green line we are still higher than that orange line which is very positive uh, but i want to see a move upwards like green went up we came down a few red candles, we went up again, we came down a few red candles, and we should be moving up again. That is the move that everyone is expecting. It doesn't mean that we can fall lower again. As long as we stay above this 15,600, we're creating on a zoomed out version, still a higher low. Now, um, then there is two more charts that I want to show you over here, which is very important. And then I will switch back to this one. Uh, but first, these two charts over here, guys, got stuck here. I think at the one day chart uh, before the noise started. So now I'm going to jump into two charts that you really need to see. Uh, because in my opinion, it's showing now the bigger picture. Now, it's getting very exciting. And I have one more shot at the end uh, that really shows you a very simplified um, version of when to buy and when to sell. Just, it's a must-see. Just keep on hanging in here. Now, let's first jump into those two charts over there. Bam! This is the first one. Yes, this is, of course, Plan B's uh, RSI model. Now, look, it's very simple on this model. Every time when we get stuck around this 45 level over there, that is the bottom of the bear market, you see? And every time when you have bought around that 45 level, um, that would have been a beautiful buy for the next bull run. This one is all the way here from 900 to 20k. This one is from 3k to 70k. This one, what is this going to be? This is going to be 15k to whatever it is, but it's indicating that we are near that bottom. We are stuck near the bottom, just like we were stuck near the bottom in 2015. The 2015 bear market looks a little bit like the bear market we see now because the 2017 bear market was a complete different bear market. It was like a V-shaped bottom and boom, boom. And now this is more sideways in 2015 and here also more sideways. So beautiful chart. Now, um, if we zoom out a little bit more, then we get um, this beautiful chart over here. Bam, this one. You can exactly see what happens during the halving progress of Bitcoin. And during that halving progress, we can see when we are at the level of 71%, from that moment on, it's up only. There is no new bottom after 71%. It was no new bottom in 2015. There was no new bottom 
in 2019. And in my opinion, there will be no new bottom in 2023 as well. Yes, we can come down a little bit, just like we did here in this area. We came a little bit down, but we never came back below that previous bottom. And in my opinion here, it's going to happen the same. And then up to 2004, uh, up to the halving four over here, we will be above this level, slowly moving towards that previous autumn high and then breaking it in 2025, in my opinion. Okay. Now, there is one more chart that I really want to share with you, which is a, an amazing chart, this chart. Now, most of you will now say, ah, oh, Didi, come on, that's too simple, that's never correct. No, no, <laughs> maybe you're right, and maybe you're wrong. But for me, if I take a parallel channel, and I take the tops, and I take the bottoms, then I can see above that green line over here, you should be selling. Above that green line, you should be selling. Above this green line, you should have been selling. You see this? And, and below this green line over here, you should be buying. Uh, at that green line here, you should be buying. And here, below that green line, you should be buying. So, if we take this parallel channel, channel a very simple one from 2013 all the way to now, it's a 10-year channel, um, then the, this would also indicate this is an amazing moment to buy. We are at the bottom of that channel. We are even a little bit below it, just like we were in 2015. Again, a comparison. Here we can see uh, that we came a little bit below it and then we went into a new bull market. Uh, again, we came a little bit below it, we went into it and we will have a new bull market. And again, at around the top line, you should be selling. For me, I think that line is going to be a little bit lower, of course, because uh, this is a straight channel uh, and mostly we have a little bit of regression there. So the top should be somewhere around 130, 150k in my opinion. But let's see, it's a, it's a very simple five indication of where you buy and where you sell. And you should be buying at the moment. Now, that was everything for today. Bam, bam. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed all this uh, information. If you did enjoy the short TA update, uh, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about this very simple chart, but also the other charts? I wish you an amazing Wednesday and see you tomorrow, Thursday again. And yes, I will discuss something that I read in the news that I really don't like, and it's about central banks' digital currency, but you need to wait till tomorrow. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.